Hi guys, um, it is 4.30 a.m. I woke up at three to get ready, obviously. <laughs> Showing up to the hospital like it's a, the Miss Texas pageant, but this is just the way I am. Um, so we are about 30 minutes away since there's no traffic, which is good because it gets us there right at 5 a.m. Um, I thought we might be a couple minutes late, but we're not. We had like, a, we were trying to get the Duna. <laughs> <laughs> like folded up and we looked like it like first time parents were like how does this thing fold but we figured it out and we're loaded and on the way to have baby Cody do you have any final words before we get to the hospital I'm sure you're gonna have a lot to say when we get there <laughs> no just excited to go get this baby out of you yeah me too aren't you moving in the cord blood stuff's in the back. In the back. Where? Back, back. I can't believe we're about to have a baby. I'm so excited to meet her. I'm not in any pain. I haven't started the Pitocin yet. We're just getting hydrated. I got my vein to get blown out. So we switched over to here. So loft. Wait, so yeah, so loft. Because I'm I always get nauseous in labor. Nick is just crop dusting the room over and over. I told him I said this is gonna be the smart room. Okay, She's yeah. only one finger dilated. Yeah, that's true. Well, your, your finger hyperextends. And you're not Yeah, I broke it. That's good. Um and we're not gonna poop on the table this time. <laughs> Nick, I can't help it if I do. Look at those lights. Are we, is it always like that? Yeah. I gotta get a good look. I hate that. I hate that. I wish we could just get like a dark day. Are we doing it in here? Yeah. Yeah, that's her bed right there. Oh my goodness. I didn't even... Not really. It's not her bed. It's just where they put her to like examine her. The lady that was drawing my blood was like, I haven't done a stem cell collection since like eight. 2018. It's because they're expensive. Huh. And I, you're, Nick's over there scrolling reels. I, really <laughs> my vein blown out and I, just I was watching like, the office reels and then I had to turn it down. <laughs> he was also doing that at 3.30 in the morning when I was getting ready. I love the office reels. They're hilarious. Babe, I'm nervous. Why? You've done this three other times. I, that's why I'm nervous, because I know what to expect. It's a lot. But I'm not in control. Stop it. I swear to God, if you do it again, you're embarrassing me. This is going to be the fart room, and I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny at all. I'm just preparing them. For what? For what is it going to smell like in here when you poop your fan? Call your poopy Joe. Oh, <laughs> please. We just started the Pitocin. She said she's going to slowly increase it, and when I start feeling like I'm in pain, I'm going to call, and they're going to do the epidural. She said the anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist that's on call right now is, like, the best one, and that it's always the one that um, the nurses and doctors request when they're in labor or when they need anesthesia, so that's really good. Did you hear her say that? Mm -mm. Yeah, she said he's the best. So He's the best yeah. around. I think she said his name is Dr. Chang. So I'm glad that he's here. That makes me feel a lot better because I always get really anxious for the epidural. But um, we're doing good. So now we just wait. We're just awaiting him. Oh, they did tell me that we cannot film during the delivery. Which is crazy because we've always filmed during the delivery. This is the first time. I'll just put the camera right here and they won't even notice. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a good angle for the for YouTube. And all I can have is ice chips. Nick's on his second copy from the nurse's station. Alright, baby Cody. 
Come on out, girl. Come on out. What do you think Reese is gonna say? She's gonna try to baby the baby. She's gonna try to hold her and pick her up and stuff. We have to yeah. be careful with that. I know, that's why I want one of those cages around to protect her. The net. It's just a cat net. Yeah. I ordered one on Amazon. All right. Let's take a look here. <laughs> why do you always do that? <laughs> We got the epidural and um, the anesthesiologist was amazing. It was the least painful one I've ever had. I mean, it's still really painful, but it was the least painful one I've had. And um, I can actually move my legs and my knees and my feet, which is crazy because usually with my epidurals, both my legs are dead, like fully dead. And you just stand up and walk around? Shut up. And then um, they broke my water, which was actually painful because my, my epidural hadn't like fully set in yet. And she broke the water, which I did not like. It was hot on it. But now we're just waiting. My contractions are getting more consistent. It's like about to happen. I think she's ready to, to be here? No, she does not want to come out at all. She's not, like, the Pitocin's not doing anything. I'm not really dilating. I went to a two. So, hope they're hoping that the, the water breaking will help. How are you feeling? I feel good. Good. I'm excited. Is the milk starting to come in yet? <laughs> Any more ice chips? I'm good now. Just let me know. she came she looks just like Skyla it was crazy because the nurse came in to check me and she's like oh you're at a 10 and I was like yeah I've been in some pain um, at the top of my belly it was kind of painful every time I had a contraction and um, then I probably pushed for three contractions and she came out um, she was she's so way smaller than all the other girls she had seven pounds 11 ounces, all the other girls are over 8, and she has 19 and a half inch swing, and what time was she born? 13.01. So that's like 1 101. Mm, 1 o'clock. And she is so fresh, just so obsessed. I remember the first thing I said when they pulled her out was like, she is so tiny. And the first thing she said was daddy. <laughs> What did you think about it, Nick? It was a lot easier than the other ones. Kind of a breeze. <laughs> it, well, it was easier than the other ones, but the waiting time was a lot. Because we got here at 5, so that was 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, that was 8 hours. Um, yeah, that part was, wasn't great, but... The only thing I don't like about the epidural is not being able to move myself. Anytime I had to move, I would have to ask Nick to come over. I got to hold the placenta in my hand. Oh yeah, we have pictures of that. The nurse was like, are you sure you don't want to touch it? It's warm. And he's like, I'm good. I'm good. He said he was good twice. And finally, all that third time she asked, he agreed. But look how sweet she is. She has a really shallow latch and it's pretty painful. But they do have the cream right there. But she's just perfect. She opened one eye, didn't 
<laughs> she just shut it so quickly. She was like, and then she went. <sighs> Don't sneeze on her. <laughs> Nick is like delusional today. He woke up acting so strange. Like. I know how poor he is. <laughs> Isn't she so sweet? Mm -hmm. She's so calm. Everybody keeps telling me how calm she is, and I'm like, it's weird. Maybe she's just normal and the others are crazy. <laughs> uh, they like offer complimentary 15 minute massages here. You can do um, your feet or your shoulders, and I did my shoulders, and it was awesome. Um, but, okay, so. I w what was I going to come in here and tell you? I was like, oh, I got my shower this morning. I felt so good after showering. The best. Like, the best. I don't know why I smell so bad. Hold on. Um, so, she, the thing about uh, Cody is that you have to she won't she will just sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and not eat if you don't wake her up it's so weird because all my other ones would wake up and they would cry and I remember it would stress me out as a new mom like hearing my new baby cry and she doesn't do that like she hasn't cried at all I hope that's okay I don't know because every time the doctors come in the pediatricians will like um you know, they'll do all their tests on her and they'll check her and they'll get her, you know, undressed and cold and all the things. And I'm like, I can't believe she's not screaming at me. Every pediatrician has said that. And at first I feel like, oh yeah, that's good because, you know, she's calm. But then at the same time, I'm like, the fact that they're all saying that means that they're all like not used to that. But... I think I told y'all this earlier, she did inhale a ton of fluid on her way out. And I asked the, um, the last uh, pediatric nurse that was in here, and I said, do you think that she's so calm because, um, or not wanting to eat, or do you think there's any problems just because, you know, I, I was on Zoloft the whole pregnancy and I was kind of prepared for there maybe to be at least some sort of hiccup in the beginning um, after she was born and not you know, on getting that from my, I guess my bloodstream anymore. And she was like, no, it's, I don't think it's that at all. I think it's because she swallowed a bunch of fluid. She has been spitting the fluid up a lot. And she said that since she swallowed so much fluid that her belly could be tricking her into thinking she's full. And that it's really important that I um, keep waking her up to feed her. But I hate doing that. I hate waking her up when she's so calm. Um, but what I was saying earlier is I don't know why I smell so bad. I smell so bad and I showered and I still smell some. I guess it's the blanket now. Something just reeks. Uh, yeah. But we ordered Starbucks. <coughs> I don't know why this one has so much syrup. I just asked for a pump like so syrupy. Hello? Yes, this is Aaron. Yes. Oh, I haven't, but I can do that right now. Yes. Okay, thanks. Bye. I have to fill out the birth registry. Right here, I have a little desk. What, honey? Um, I also decided to do the Hep B in the office instead of here. They give you the option now instead of just like saying, like, hey. Um, what? I'm, I'm filming. Instead of saying, 
um, like do you want hep the hep B shot or not, they ask you, do you want to have the hep B shot here or do you want to have it at your pediatrician? And I said that I was going to do the hep B at um, the pediatrician. So we're going to do that there. I've got all this paperwork. But yeah, they need a free morning massage. Hey, do you know where the, they're here? It is. Okay. Birth certificate worksheet. Oh, yeah, yeah, got you. Oh, yeah, yeah, got you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. She is, and her ears are so little. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. I know. Plus, mommy's been giving me lots of good food. Yeah. Okay, today's the day that we get to go home. Cody has been sleeping so much. How are you feeling? I yeah, me too. She's so chill right now, but last night was a little hard. Can you up here? Why? I'll just you have to. Down. They make you. They make you bring it up. Yeah, here. they make you bring the car seat up. Yeah. No, they don't. Yes, they do, because they have to. They have to check her in the seat before they release them. Can't they do that down the stairs? No, they've done this every every time we've ever had a baby. They've done it. You have to bring the seat up so they can safety check it. This one ready here? That's ready, and then the one that's over there. Um, I would just install the base before you come back up. Okay. One that says Mama. Okay. Okay, so today's day three. So the day we delivered was November 2nd. November 3rd was our like we had a full day in the hospital because I think I said this I just was not feeling I'm still not feeling great and I'll tell you about my symptoms in a minute and so today is day three of us in the hospital it's November 4th so we're leaving today we're just waiting to get discharged um they said they could hopefully get us out around noon and it's almost 11 so we probably have like at least another hour here before we get to leave but um Cody is kind of napping. She's very chill today. So last night, um, after my mom left, I stopped filming because Cody got really, um, uh, like, fussy. She was, like, really, um, like, she wanted to nurse, but then when I would put her up, she would, like, go for it, but then she would, like, turn her head like she didn't want it, and then she kind of did that on both sides, and then sometimes she would latch and eat for a while, and then fall asleep and then sometimes she wanted the pacifier we gave her the pacifier for a little bit and then she didn't and she was just she, I think she had gas because she was arching her back and I could tell she just was not feeling good and it freaked me out so I had like talked to like three different nurses had them come in and I was like hey um she's she's acting like she's not feeling good like what's going on and they're like no this is totally normal behavior after the first 24 hours they get um you know they realize they're in the world now and it's they're not in the belly and they just start to be more needy and active um, and I told them you know I told so many doctors and nurses um, like I reminded them I was on Zoloft my whole pregnancy like maybe she's um, sensitive to not you know having that in my tummy tummy anymore and all of them were like no that's not common at all but when I google it it says that it is common so I don't know but now she's fine it's just that last night was like a hard night and um, I, it definitely scared me, um, but she seems to be over it by now, but maybe it's like the witching hour type thing where she might do it again tonight, I'll let you guys know. But I was kind of prepared already for her to be fussy because a lot of people that were on Zoloft in their pregnancy told me that their babies were fussier after, um, but not, I couldn't find like one nurse or one doctor that even like thought that that it was related to that which really surprised me but they said no that's just not common at all for Zoloft so they said it's normal baby behavior 
but my first three were I don't remember them being fussy like that but maybe I don't maybe I just don't have a good memory um so that's Cody for me my back is killing me like more than it was with the first three very painful I'm still on Motrin and Norco like I've been on it like, they just come in on a schedule to give it to me and Cody's waking up um but I got up just now to like get all the stuff ready to leave and it I am in pain like not feeling good my stomach really hurts my back really hurts and I feel very loopy my ears feel clogged um that's super hormonal for me when I have hormonal changes my ears feel clogged I get it sometimes during pregnancy too um when she nurses I'm still having the after birth contractions however everybody said that they get worse with each child and they've been the least bad with Cody all three of the other ones the after birth pains were really bad Cody's are really not very painful they're painful but not what I was expecting them like what I'm used to the pain level is severe like worse than labor pains and I had maybe one or two feeds that they were really bad but that was it and with the others it was every feed severe severe um, pain my I only had a first degree tear so it doesn't hurt down there right now but I am on the pain meds however my butt is really really hurting I'm like depending on how I sit it could like it's in the shock up there because of him rights and they hurt bad um, but other than that I'm just kind of like being like just loopy I guess it's like the best way to describe it. it's like being in a cloud um, and I know that that has to do with the Norco for sure um, so as far as with Cody um, I plan to exclusively breastfeed her for as long as I can, but I know there will be some times when I want to have like pumped milk. I don't plan to do formula for as long as I can, but once I start to introduce formula, I'll share that either on here or on Instagram. But I'm going to do as long as I can with just nursing and, pump and pumping when it comes to that. Because there will be times when we're out where I'll want to give her a pumped bottle of milk rather than nurse like I have no problem nursing in public but I don't always want to like you know I, I like to make the choice of when when I want to and when I don't want to and if I'm at like a nice dinner with Nick or you know we go out I'm obviously not gonna I don't I just don't want to <laughs> you know it's not because I don't feel like it's socially acceptable because y'all know I don't care about what's socially acceptable and what's not I do whatever <laughs> I just I like the convenience of having a bottle sometimes so that's the plan for nursing. We are giving pacifiers. She's already take, been taking them. Um, she loves the Love and Up, like loves it. And then she's been taking the Premi um, Ryan and Rose pacifier. She likes that one too, but the Love and Up, she's like stands the Love and Up. I think she's hungry. <laughs> Like a wandering ember, I shone bright, then my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home. Nowhere near as nice 
coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home Though I fought with my claws and teeth Though I elbowed my way to the sea There'd be no kind of peace like you beside me No matter the rain, no matter the storm I'm coming home, I'm coming home We have to go pick up Skyla's uniform because she has a showcase in two days and they just got their uniforms in. So this is the true definition of girl, mom and dad life. Okay, so we are about to be home in 30 minutes and I can't wait to introduce the girls to her. It's gonna be amazing. And I'm gonna get as much footage of that as I can because it's gonna be so cute. Um, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching and for following our journey of four babies. That's crazy that I've been doing this for that long. Um, okay, bye. So like and follow so we can afford them. <laughs>